Today I'm going to do some capacity tests on these 18650 cells. The purpose of this test is to see if there's a difference in the results if I discharge the cells at a different rate. From my experience, the faster you discharge the cell, the less power or capacity you can get out of it. But how much difference does it make if you discharge the cells at different rates? And that's what I'm going to find out in this video. I've got a lot of these 18650 cells that needed to be tested. I salvaged a lot of these from old laptop computer batteries and whatnot. And these are the ones that I've already tested. You can see the number I've written on here, the capacity after I tested these. And I've got a couple thousand more cells that needed to be tested in these boxes. So if the test results show that there's no difference or little difference in the capacity of these cells, no matter how fast I discharge them, then that can save me a lot of time in testing these cells. So in this test, I'm going to use these LG3350 milliamp hour cells. These cells are brand new and they are all the same model and the same condition. You can see they have some nickel strips still on the terminal. And that's because I salvaged them from a USB power bank. Salvage, but the USB power bank I salvaged from are brand new, so they are basically brand new cells. And these are one of the highest capacity 18650 cells in the market today. If you look on eBay, especially from Chinese seller, you can find 18650 cells that are up to 9,900 milliamp hour. You know, people say pigs can fly. I think yeah, pigs can also become flies. But anyway, I digress. So in this test, I also want to find out whether or not these 18650 cells are actually 3300 milliamp hour as advertised by LG. So now let's start the test. I've got five cells here. And the reason why I choose five cells is because these charger will give me five options to discharge the cell at five different rates uh, 200, 300, 500, 700 and 1000 and those are the rates that I'm going to use to discharge each cell at a different rate so first let's charge them first because right now they are not full this one here, 3.6 volts, 3.64 volts. So I'm going to charge them first, and then after they're all full, I'm going to discharge them, and uh, we can find out the capacity after we discharge them. Right, so I've let it charge for a few hours. Now all the batteries are full. Let's check on the voltage here, about 4.16, 4.17. Now it's time to let them discharge. We got 200 milliamp, 300, 500, and 700 on this charger. And over here we got discharge of 1000 milliamp. So these are the five options that I can get. Uh, from this charger for discharging these uh, 18650 cells. Now all we're going to do now is wait for it to complete. This one is going to be done first uh, because it's the highest rate of discharge. This one here is going to be done last. And um, in theory, this is 3300 milliamp hour, 3350 milliamp hour. Uh, at 200 milliamp, it's going to take 17 hours for this to be done. If it is 3350 milliamp hour, that is. So I'll be right back after it's done. All right, I am back, and it has been running for over 24 hours. And let's check out see what we got here. This one here, uh, I let it discharge at one amp, and the capacity. Total is 3145 milliamp hour. This is rated at 3350. And uh, that's a little bit less than the rated capacity. So let's 
see the rest of the data here. So it ran for 3 hours 10 minutes. Now there's no more discharge. It's already stopped. And current voltage is 3.41 volts. I believe it draw down to 3 volts. Maybe lower. And then um, it stopped. And once it stopped the voltage creeps up a little bit. So that's what we get for a 1 amp discharge rate. Let's check out the rest of the other cells. We got 3,078, 3,000, almost 200, 3,268, 3,273. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the time here. So this takes 15 hours, 15 and a half hours. This takes almost 11 hours, six and a half hour, four and a half hour, a little bit over four and a half hour. But this one here is discharged at 200 milliamp, 300 milliamp, 500 milliamp, and 700 milliamp. Uh, that's why you see this, this here takes the least time to finish and this thing takes the longest time to finish because it's discharged at only 200 milliamp whereas this one here discharged at 700 milliamp so it it is it finished faster but the strange thing is that I would expect that the one that is slowly discharged would have more capacity but it looks like it the other way around. It looks like the one that's got the lowest discharge rate got the lowest capacity. You can see the trend here. It does increase from left to right. And um, it should be the other way around, right? Because if you discharge faster, uh, you should get less uh, capacity. But it's not what I'm seeing here. It's the other way around. It's like when you drive a car, the faster you run, the less mile per gallon you're going to get, right? The more energy you're going to use. But what you gain is you gain time. You can finish the same distance in a less amount of time. And the price you have to pay for is the gas. You got to spend more gas. Same thing here. If you discharge faster, you should consume more energy, right? So it should be the capacity shown on here should be less than this because this is faster discharge than this. But we see the opposite. I don't understand. This is really weird. If you take a look at this one here, discharge at 1 amp, which is the highest discharge in all the five cells. We got it less than almost all of this except this one here. And that's understandable because this one has the fastest discharge rate. That means it runs the fastest. That's why it only takes three hours to finish. As opposed to this one here, 15 and a half hours. But I, what I don't understand, why? This one here, even though it takes 15 and a half hours to finish at very low discharge rate and it's shown capacity less than the 1 amp discharge rate. That is pretty strange. Even here, this one is 300 milliamp discharge rate and it's almost the same as 1 amp discharge rate. You see here? 45 versus 97, almost the same, but this one here runs three more than three times faster than this. I have no clue what's going on here. If any of you knows what's going on here, uh, please write in the uh, comment below. I would like to hear from you. The only thing that makes sense here is the difference between the 1 amp discharge rate and the 700 milliamp discharge rate 
and the 500 milliamp discharge rate. Uh, we got less capacity from the 1 amp discharge rate compared to the 700 milliamp discharge rate and the 500 milliamp discharge rate. It does make sense, right? You run faster, you use more energy. So I've been testing my 18650 cells here, a lot of them, and I've been testing them at 500 milliamp discharge rate. These are the results. And um, according to this test, it would have been a lot faster if I just test them at 1 amp discharge rate. And that will reduce my testing time in half. Even though the 1 amp discharge rate here, I got less capacity versus the 500 milliamp. I would say the difference is just 100 milliamp. So that's not a lot of difference. Or to be safe, I can just run them at 700 milliamp like this one here. I can get the full capacity out of it. And it's still faster than the 500 milliamp uh, discharge rate. And that's all for now. Uh, let me know what you think about the results here because that kind of confuses me. Next video, I'm going to test this 3350 milliamp hour. I salvaged from this USB power bank. And these are just aftermarket sales. They are not brand name sales like LG or Panasonic. They are actually no name on this sale. And I want to test to see if they're actually 3350 milliamp hour. And uh, I'll show you that in the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.